Oh. When shooting bunker, we have three things we want to look at. We want to look at vision, move, and we need to read the target so we can place the gun where it needs to go to break it. Now, for vision, we need to understand the bunker's got three machines. There's a little white mark on top of the bunker to mark the center machine. From that point, we have a left bird that comes out and a right bird that comes out, and then we have a straight. The next thing we have to look at is on the bunker, it's kind of flat. The target comes, you can get a low target that comes out. That's just basically a ground burner on over the ground. It's important to, to mention that, and we'll get into that a little bit more. So, traditionally, bunker trap shooters hold at the top of the house. They look right above the house, so that way they can pick up these targets when they come out fast. That's the vision. Then the move, once they pick it up, they're driving the gun with the shoulders not the hands, but with the shoulders to the target. With the vision, they see the target come out, they can read the target if it's, if it's low or if it's high. And from that point, they can place the gun where they need to to break it. And you have two shots to hit the target. Let's take a look at some video of a bunker trap shooter on the range. Okay, back from the range, you saw how a traditional bunker trap shooter shoots with holding at the top of the house and then shooting. Now, let's look at a different approach. We're going to go to the range and you're going to watch over my shoulder while I hold a little bit higher and see the difference. Okay, we're back from the range. You saw where I was holding above the bunker opposed to the girl early in the video that held lower. The traditional way of shooting is the way she's holding at the top of the bunker looking above. Because I can't see the target as fast that way, I raise my hold point below the line of the lowest target so they, they still float over my gun. My vision's raised above, higher than hers, because I can't see it like she can. Because my vision's a little bit higher, I can actually see it faster now than, than down here. Because before, when I'm holding here and looking through here, the target beats my eyes. And now my eyes are chasing at the target, and the gun's chasing after it. When I've raised my vision, so that I can see this low bird and I can see the high birds, so it's a nice big oval, I can actually pick up the target faster this way. Now the target's not beating my vision. Now I can get on it with my eyes, drive the gun to it, and hit it. I wanted to show you the second school of thought on shooting bunker. Why not try something different? to see if it doesn't work better for you. And as I get older, when I shoot, I might have to change that. Because the targets are so fast on bunker, we need to really hone in on our visual pickup point. Now, that can be easily done when other people are shooting. You stand back, you watch. Where do you first pick up the target? Ask that question to yourself. Change where you're looking, why other people are shooting, to see if it doesn't make it better or worse to look a little higher, a little lower. Then, when it's your turn to shoot, work on that. Work on how do you see the target? Can you shoot it faster? Can you see it better with raising your vision or lowering your vision? That needs to be worked on. And when you're working on that, you want to let misses go. It's not the end result of the hit or miss at first. It's K 
can I see it better? Because if you see it better, eventually you're going to start hitting a lot more. When you're working on improving, if we're working on where we're looking, we don't want to worry about where we're hitting. Now, when we're as we get our vision better and we can drive the gun to the target, now we're working on hitting the target. A good see it well, good move, and where do we want to place the gun and reading the target. And that's a whole nother video on, on different ways of training for bunker. So just wanted to show you the two school different school of thought. We have the traditional holding the top of the bunker, looking at at the top of this ridge through this area or holding just below the top of that little ridge and looking above that. Hope this helps you break more bunker targets. Have a great day.